Good morning to everyone. It's great to see you, and it's nice to see people have already uh, logged in to see to tell us they're there. So, good morning, Steve, Cheryl, and Lee. We've got Emma and John, and we've got Mick, and hopefully Kieran and Jake, and maybe even Nathan. So, good morning to all of you. And again, for anyone else that hasn't logged in as yet, some people say they can't do it. Just register with Discus on this site, and it's just for this site. And then you'll be able to type in if you've got any questions, any comments, or just tell us that you're with us. Um, also, I did say I'll give a good morning to uh, Andy and Amy. They watched this live. They watched this on Saturday. So, if you're watching Andy and Amy, good morning. We're live on Saturday morning. Okay. So, if you joined us on YouTube, uh, if you want to get involved with us a bit more regular, if you go onto cargomos.com. And then that's where this is actually being filmed from. And then you can just join in and watch it throughout the week. And if you've got any comments, then just go cargomoss at gmail.com and we can actually help any inquiries or comments that you've got on that one. Right, just a quick one for you before we go. I'll say this every time. This is designed to work at home, so make sure you've got space from each other and the furniture. We'll adapt it so you can do it. So uh, yesterday was training in a 4,000 square feet training hall. We're going to do everything in a confined space. Now some, someone's actually said that it got a little bit um, difficult or a bit too fast and I say every time if you find you're in that situation you're best missing one out and watching because you still learn by watching and then do the next one. So miss every other one out because if you stop doing it for yourself if you quit on doing it you won't like, get any better. So have a go, go to your own pace and you can always rewind this or review it, not rewind it, review it at a later date after the recording's finished. Right, let's get going. So from the start, we always do, from the feet here, I'm bow. Right, from there, let's just get ourselves moving. And as I say, always safety. So work to your own comfort level. If it's anything that's feeling uncomfortable, just check how you're doing it. Or if there's any sharp pains or anything, then just stop doing it and consult a physician if it's consistent. Right, just work to your own comfort level. Let's go up. And let's go forward. Let's cross it over. And from there, just have those hands up and just jabbing it out. Good. From there, we're going to rotate at the waist to just loosen off those hips. And go around the other way. And let's roll those knees out. So let's wake up every part of the body that we're going to be using. And let's bring those knees in. Okay, keep the feet parallel, with the knees pointing forwards, we're going to keep them soft, keep them pointing forwards as we go through the tw waist twist. So if you keep the knees forwards, it isolates the waist, and let's wake up and blow the muscles. Good. From there, have those feet double shoulder width, and we're going to uh, open up the adductors and the hip flexor. We're going to lean over to one side. Up straight, keep the body straight, look at posture when you perform any of these techniques, movements, and over your floor, stretch down the side of the legs. Just hold it a few seconds longer, and release, and bend the other leg, going up and over the top. Okay, and relax. We're going to turn both feet this way, bend the front knee, and relax in position. Now stretching up the rear arm, pushing it forward and keep elongating the muscles and waking them up. Let's change the back foot to the ball of the foot. And again, when you're comfortable, drop the knee and push you forwards. And from there, let's go and turn the face the other way. Front knee bent and pushing forwards. And change that back foot on the ball of the foot. And let's pull in backwards. So knee of the foot and support backwards. Support on your bent knee, don't put any pressure on your straight leg and just lowering down. Okay, no less. You can go down further, go backwards on your forwards. Right, from there, take a nice deep breath in, let's straighten the weight on that spine, let's just drop down in half. And just rolling up vertebrae at a time. And one more, nice and big. And dropping down. Okay, we're going to loosen up the hamstrings. So take one leg back, put the hand in front. Now, height to suit yourself, you bring the leg to the head. So let's go together. Let's go one, two, 
Three, don't go to your maximum, warm up first. And we've got three more. Three, two, and one. Let's change the legs over. Let's go one, and go, and keep going to your own pace, or stay with us. Three, two, and one. We're going to keep the heels this way. Look at the shoulders, so we want a straight line. So when we lift, we want a straight line through the body. We're going this way, let's go. And just the side to knee into the path. Three, two, and one. And let's go and face the other way. The hand out, leg up to the palm. Three, two, and one. Good. What we're going to do now is we're going to warm up individual techniques and we're going to put them together in the combination. So, without moving the feet, we're going to, without going forward and backwards, we've got the hands up. We're going to pick the knee up and push forward with the ball of foot. So, on a side profile, we're going forward with the foot position here. So, we're going forward with the foot. We're going to take it one leg, doesn't matter which, we're going to change it over each one. So, let's go up one, change it over, and go. Breathe out at the end of the technique, and go. Relax the muscles in between each movement, and two more. One. And two. Good. Next technique we're going to be at work is a knife hand block. So it's a big cross of the chest. So sometimes we use the outer forearm, which is the little finger side, in a forearm. And this time we use the knife hand. So across the chest, we're dropping the elbow down, fingertipping on the shoulder. So when we haven't got a partner, our imaginary opponent, our imaginary friend, is our height. So big cross of the chest. Same arm. Same arm. Two more, and one, we're going to change with the other hand. Okay, we're drop, dropping the elbow, and think, finger to nails facing yourself, and going out, so across the whole body. Two more, and one, good. Next technique, we're going to work with the turning kick. So from there, we've got the, we're going to turn sideways for this one. We're going to take the heel to the buttock, and come round with the foot. We're going to keep our hands up so we're not using for balance and get good posture. Keep yourself upright, from the buttocks, and go, and go, and go, two more, and one. I'm going to go out this way this time because I'm still going to go side on, but the target's going to be here. So, same motion, heel to the buttocks, round in line with your standing foot. And go, and go. So do keep an eye on the furniture and each other. Two more, and one. Good. From there, the side kick. So instead of coming forward to the side, we're going out to the side. So again, the first one I'm going to do to the front. I'm going to pick the knee and foot, foot up, and in line with the body. So straight line, and just keeping that front leg up. So keep the balance. On your stand leg, keep it soft and keep it steady. Front leg. And go. And go. And go. Two more. And one. And again, like last time, we're just going to go to the side. And a good trip teaching trick tip, trick tip is that if you're doing this, if you can put a mirror nearby, you can watch yourself, you can see yourself and um, mimic what we're doing at, at the same time or record it on your own phone so you can see your own posture see so are you upright is it going in the right direction so we're going up to the side and this is the other leg out to the side let the heels turn let's go and go and go and go two more now height to see itself if you're kicking lower it's not a problem. Get the motion of the technique going to go. Right, we're going to step forward. We're going to step forward this time with a punch. So we're going to use the right leg, right hand, or left and left. It doesn't really matter for yourself. Stepping forward. Good. Same arm, same leg. It's what's known as an obverse punch. And again, for those that know, the stance I'm working is the walking stance, front knee bent, back leg straight. 
If you don't know about stasis, just step forward. So one hand's going forward, one hand going back, and breathing on the landing and completion of the technique. We're going to go two more. And one. Now, again, we can do an obverse punch with the other leg and hand, or we can do what's known as reverse. So I'm going to use the same leg, but use the opposite hand. So staying in the right, we're stepping right and punching left. Now, opposite arm, opposite leg, and now reverse punch. Okay, stepping forward. So we're still doing the same motion, different body positioning, different reasons. We'll come apart later on as we work the combinations. Two more. And one. Good, good, good. Right, from there, we're going to work um, a palm strike. So the fist, or the two knuckles, is what we're working for the front and the heel of the palm, and the little, little bit can be to the chest, it can be the chin, the philtrum, bridge of the nose. We're going to go palm. Delivered similar to a punch. Right leg, right hand, palm strike. And we're getting the fingers out of the way. And from the side profile, you see the palm, and you're delivering with the, the palm itself. Two more. And one. And with the left hand. And go. And go. And two more. Okay, right, from there, we're going to use an outer forearm, um, outer forearm block, so we use the knife hand, we're going to use the outer forearm, similar kind of motion, but we're finishing the fist in line. We're going to alternate alternately each time. So with one leg, bring it back, two more. Right from there, we're also going to work with a knife hand strike. So we work the knife hand block, and all blocks except a few are with a bent arm. The strike's an attacking tool, so we're coming out here, similar to a punch to straight arm motion. So we're going to take it to the side just for, for so you can see the technique. So I'm going to take the, these ones this way. So I'm going to go. Two more. Keep it soft in the elbow, that's the important thing. We finish the arm straight, but soft in the elbow. Right, we're going to go forward with the other hand. So finishing the line of the shoulder, it's an outward direction, so across of the chest. And let's go forward. And, and for those that know, palms upwards and finishes palm downwards. So it does a 180 flip. Two more. And one. Good. I hope you're keeping up with that. And as I mentioned, it's going a little bit fast for yourself because we're working from all different levels from new uh, members here to our senior grades. So I'm going to immediate pace here for you. So if it's getting a bit too much, miss everyone out so you're not missing out completely. Right from there, we're now coming in with a inward strike. So we are now outward strike with a knife hand outwards, and that's from the center chest outwards, and that works perfectly if you've got your body position correct. We're now going to go forwards, so it's forwards and into the head. So it doesn't go too wide, you'll see massive big ones, and if you're looking to break a few boards, that'll definitely work. But from here, we're going straight in. So it's too wide with a partner, so they'll see it before it gets to the target. I'm going to step forward with this this leg here, this hand here. So stepping forward, coming in here, same arm. Two more, and one. Good, we're gonna use the other hand here. And bring it in, bring it in. Two more, and one, and the 
last technique before we go to a breather is we're going to do the back fist strike. So we're going to come centre the chest and we're going to aim to the side of the head. And it could be the temple, the hinge of the jaw, side of the jaw here. Okay, if the target side on, it will be other front on targets to a side profile. We're going to step forward with the right hand, go back to the front. Now we're going to stay in stance this time and we're going to change, use the other hands. So we're going to use one hand and then the other hand. So it comes sent across from both angles. So those that know, it comes from underneath the cross. And this leg forward again. So one, come underneath the arm and we're aiming for your side of your own head. And go. We've got two more. Let's go. Take a bit for a few seconds, got a short VT for you, and we'll come back and put those in combination. No cuts. A real block. Actually, use that. Hey guys, Hi Waitkin here. Um, I'm just doing the 26 challenge. Uh, Charlie Hayes beat my challenge again with 26. So today I'm going to do 26, 26 exercises again for eight exercises. I've got them on this list. I'll be doing star jumps, ski jumps, jumping squats, uh, jumping with high knees, press ups, sit ups, squat thrusts, and back extensions. I might have a quick look through this when I'm doing it, but that's the idea. So here we go. Starting off the star jumps. Charlie, see if you can beat that. Well done Harry for that, and again he's been waiting to see that, and again great work on there. And guys, 
do feel free to get involved with either that challenge or if you'd, look, you'd like to set a challenge, that would be great. So you can be anything you want to do. So go to your level. And again, it's a bit of fun. It's not over competitive. I know Charles and Jack, uh, Harry are doing a bit of a competition there. But it's all tongue-in-cheek good fun. And just by the by, if you saw Mr. Wallens doing that bruise block earlier, yes, that is real. It's not fixed, as he showed you. But he is a, an accomplished martial artist. He's been doing it for years and years and years. So please, please do not try and copy it. Uh, it looks easy, but unless you do it correctly, you're going to end up breaking yourself and not your balls. So especially our junior members, your bones are still growing. You'll definitely de do long-term damage. So please don't do that. It's great to watch but watch the experts do it. Right, what I'd like to do is some of the combinations we've been doing, we're going to be doing it in a drilling fashion, we're going to be stepping. We're going to be stepping three steps, four steps with these drills. Um, if you haven't got space, we're going to be doing spot checks. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about there. So the first one we're going to be doing is knife hand block. So I'll just demonstrate first one, two, and we've got space in the studio to do all that. Now, as I said before, our training here is designed for you to do at home. So if you haven't got that space, all you need to do is take a step back, bring it back when I'm stepping back and change it over. Bring it back. So everything you we do on these well, is in like a, a metre, two metre square. So you'll have plenty of space to do that. So work, we'll, we'll step it with you initially and then put the counters that are going to go for. So this assumption of someone's coming in with a front punch, we're going to take this leg back and we're going to do a knife hand block. Okay, bring it in for the second one, knife and block. Bring it in for the third one, knife and block. And then the counter attack is going to be a strike to the neck or the side of the head. Now the counter attack stops and do a number four. So it's one of these non-passive positions where you can't say stop, you can't get out of it, they're going to go for it. And if, when they hit you with one, they're going to follow it. It's Neanderthal, they're going to keep going until they get their goal is to hurt you. So we're going to stop that. We're going to stop it completely. So, okay, you can do it on the spot. I'm going to step it back this time. Let's go one. Let's go back. Let's go back. Good. All right, return if you're stepping. All right, let's go back. And blocking. And blocking. Good. So you're blocking to the side of the arm. So you're stopping the arm from actually completing. So it wants to be timed with a partner. So that's what we've been doing in the week at the academy. Stepping back, and back, and back, and one more with the same drill. So, very good. And again, as I mentioned before, you can review this and follow on and increase the improvements on the technique here. Right, the assumption this time someone's coming coming with a high punch, so they go for the head. So we're going to come underneath it. So from there, crossing the chest, we're going to come straight the way up. It delivers the same angle as it completes. So as it hits the arm, it's the inner deflect. We're going to take the right leg back or one leg back straight up. Okay, we're going to change it over and change it over. And the strike's going to be a side. Uh, back fish attack, which we've done earlier. Okay, now also another alternative for you if you don't want to be stepping all the time, you can go one, then change it over, two, change it over, three, and strike. Good. So you've got three cho choices there step back three times, spot return, or step once and do the three. So we're going to do all three of them. So we're going to spot, step, and return. So rising block. Back as you change your feet over, you can exchange the hands ready. And the third one, and use the same arm too. You can use either hand, but we're going to use the same one in this case. This time, we're going to start one step and do the three techniques. Let's go. Right, again, you might be saying, Well, that's not fast enough. No, it doesn't have to be. We're practicing, we're training. At normal speed, we can do it a lot faster as I've demonstrated previously. I'll do it in a minute for you if you so wish. I'm going to step back three times this time. You can do it on the spot, you can do it, but stay with the same pace. Let's go. And once the feet are moving, we're exchanging the hands. And once more, and I'm going to step it. Let's go. Good. 
And again, obviously, if you are stepping, it gives you a bit more time because they're going to have to keep moving into you. Right, the third one we're going to do is we're going to use the outside of the arm, out of form, but, and we're going to do a side fist. So a side fist, a back fist uses the two knuckles there, a side fist using this part here. And again, a lot of ladies don't like to use the knuckles because obviously if they're less they're affected to strength, then you could damage them. But a side fist works great. So it's in this kind of shape. And again, if you go into the jaw side, the head, go into the foot chin, if you side onto them, through to the nose, if you side onto them, it's a very effective tool of use. So many parts of the hand, you can pick what suits you best. So we're going to go back with that right leg. We're just going to bring the arm inwards. Good. Okay, whilst we're going through it, we're going to go inwards. And the third time, we're going to go inwards, crossing the top of the chest, and going out with the side fist. Okay, we'll do it step return on this one. Let's go inwards, bring it back, get yourself ready. Inwards, bring it back, get yourself ready. Inwards, top of the cock, side fist. Good, let's try it again. So do a step return. So we go inwards, step return, step return. Good. This time I'm going to step three steps backwards. You can do a step return, your, your choice. Let's go. One more, and this time I'm going to do one step and do the three. Good. Right, we're going to use out of form low block. Out of form block, not, not low. So again, still come to the punch here. We're going to go one, we're going to go two, we're going to block it, three, I'm going to step to the side and kick. I'm stepping because my legs are longer than the arms. So it's one of these situations where you, you can actually take the second one out and do the block uh, evasion instead. But for today, we're going to do the three. So step return. So step back one. Step back two. Step back three. Now I'm doing a front kick. If whilst you're playing with this yourself, you might decide to do a side kick. Okay, right, we're going to do it on the spot. Let's go. Obviously, the front kicks we're looking at abdominals, love, um, love abdominals, the umbilicus, or even the groin if you're going in an upward motion. I'm going to do a three on one step. And we're going to do that one again. Okay. Step is obviously an evasion, you might be deciding to move on away. Right, from there, we've got one more to do. We're going to do knife and block, and then we're going to take it into um, the side. So this time, all the ones we've done so far, we're blocking in this kind of fashion, moving the arm out here. We're going to block to the other side here, move the arm across. So now it exposes this part of the body, or this part, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to step back with this leg and we're aiming for the outside of the arm. And when we change it over, we're going for the outside of the arm. When we change it over, we're going to the outside of the arm. And the counter is going to be, because I've still got contact with the arm, I'm going to step to one side and do that turning kick we've done earlier. Okay, so uh, this leg back first. So let's go up from the outside of the arm, from the outside of the arm. I've got the third one, step and counter. Good. So all these are at the moment single counters. We can, we can multiply those up as we have done in the past. Right, we're going to step with this leg, so go to the outside of the arm. So as long as you're visualizing what you're using for, it's going to work for you. This time I'm going to take the three steps. You can stay to your space requirements. We're going to do it twice more, and then we're going to move into the um, fitness aspect. Taking this leg back, let's go. And once more, this time I'm going to do it on sports. Good. 
Right, great. Hope you kept up with that. I hope it wasn't too fast for you. But again, hope it get inspired and gave you ideas of other things to do. See you in a second. On to the fitness part of it. Um, work at your own pace. I say this all the time, but do sit out if you need to. Do take it down. You might miss some out, or if you want to increase the speed. So go at your own pace, listen to your own body. If you feel a bit dizzy, just take a breather. You can always rerun this at later dates. Uh, this is what's going to go through different levels inter beginner level, intermediate, or senior level. I'm going to pass you over to Mrs. Moss. Good morning, everybody. Right, this way we're going to start on the lower tummy. Okay, we've done this one before, but I'll just go through it again. So you make sure you've got enough space, laying flat on the floor, and make sure the small of the back is pushed firmly into the floor. If you need to put your hands underneath, you can do. Okay, the lower level, you're just going to bend one knee, and you're bringing your foot up level to that knee. Just that that's as high as you go, just up and back down. Try not to touch the floor. You want to take it up, then you take two legs. Again, not too high, we don't want to go this high, just 45 degrees, back down. Hold it off the floor and back up. And again, if you want to go a little bit harder, we're just going to scissor kick. Again, not touching the floor. Okay, you decide which one you're going to do, and when we're ready, time is on. So just up and down, make sure you're breathing. Keep breathing. If you start to just doing one leg and you want to increase it, then try and do a couple with two legs. That one's okay, then do the scissor kick. Half time. You're halfway there, keep going, keep breathing. Still trying not to touch those down. If you're just doing one leg, make sure you switch legs. So do the other leg Three, as well. Two. Keep it going. One, and relax. Good work, okay, and stand it up. Okay, now we're going to move on, working the legs. Again, I'll give you two different variations on this one. So you can just bend your knees. And we're coming up with a kick. And if you want to go a bit harder, we're going to go right down. Squat position, keep your back straight, up and kick. So that's the two you decide. When we're ready, time is on. And go. All the way down and breathe and kick. And down and breathe and kick. When it's halfway, we'll switch legs. Breathe and kick. Breathe and kick. You might want to change the kick, just side kick or return kick. You choose. Ten seconds. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Was that halfway? Was that? Oh, that's the whole thing. So we're going to do thirty seconds on the other leg now. Okay, when we're ready, off we go. Switch legs and breathe and breathe. Good. Again, if you want to put a different kick in, put a different kick. If you just want to bend the knees and just kick low, no, your choice. Keep it going and breathe. Breathe or dip. You choose. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Good work. That was a hard one that time, but well done for keeping up. Okay, moving on to the last one. We're going to do, I forgot what we're doing, um, running on the spot, that's it, here we go. Again, if you don't want to run, just move the feet. If you want to run, run in, and those that are a bit fitter, those knees up. Okay, last one, go for this one, 30 seconds, when you're ready, go. So keep running, run, move those arms, breathe, breathe. If you can, pick your knees up. Keep going. Halfway. This is a good one, keep going. Nearly there. Pick those knees up if you can. If not, just keep those legs moving. Five seconds, five. Push it out. Four, three, two, and one. Good, well, well done. Big deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Okay, this time when we stretch, I'll go sideways so you can see. We're just going to bend in half like a table. 
Take your arms out to the side and just try and keep that. Oh, I've got my breath going that one. Just keep your back nice and flat. Holding it there. And relax. Good. From there, take your feet double shoulder width, arms out again, and now you're going to cross over, touching your toes. Go hand to toe, up, hand to toe. One more each side. Very good. Well done. That's a good one this week. Well done, people. And goodbye. Right, I hope you're okay and still still with us on that one. Um, we're just going to do a few more on those drills, but uh, I was conscious of time because the uh, previous uh, time we went out a bit too long and uh, uh, Miss Moss told me off. So, so um, what we're going to do is look at the word of the week. So the word of the week today is goal setting. And now this works for everyone. Now a lot of these, uh, some of these goals we set for the kids to tie their bedroom and so forth, but the uh, previous one was self-discipline, but that can be any aspect of your life. Yeah. But goal setting is, is great, because if you set goals, you get goals. And the saying is, the goals you set is the goals you get. People that don't set goals, guess what? They don't achieve as much as those that do. So again, it could be your next belt, it could be uh, your homework. Now a lot of the kids are on holiday, and I hope you really enjoy it. It's been good weather, and a bit of spat spat rain, but it's good weather on the whole. But then come September, or just before, they're panicking to get all the schoolwork done. And I know when I was at school, you don't want the last thing you want to think of schoolwork. But guess what? If you set a little bit of time each week doing whatever task you've got, then by the time you finish school, uh, holidays and ready for school, it's not so daunting. It's nothing worse than thinking, school Monday, oh no, I've got to do all this work on the weekend. So goal setting. So it can be, as I say, as, as small as just doing a little and often. The guys that train with us, I've mentioned before, now we're back to the academy. Now we're back to doing martial arts regularly. And by the way, um, well done to Lee and a few of the other guys that didn't stop training the martial arts because guess what? It's not school. It's life skills. It's learning kicks. So some of the guys are coming back and a little bit rusty, but guess what? If you don't use it, you lose it. And that goes with your folders, that goes with your techniques, reaction drills, and your confidence. A lot of people say, oh, a bit nervous coming back. Don't be nervous because we're lovely people. So goal set. Set yourself goals. And if you set them prior to doing them, so don't say, oh, I'm going to do this today. Yeah, you get it done. But why not plan ahead? And that's what the regular training folders that we give to all our members do. Many ways of uh, goal setting. If you're not too sure how to work it, in essence, have a word. Right, the thought of the day. All our dreams come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And that's by Walt Disney. And what goals did he, what dreams did he set? Fantastic achievements, that gentleman. So all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And dreams can be goals. You set your goals, you can get your goals. Right, it's been lovely uh, working with you today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll finish as we normally do. Have a great weekend, be safe, and come there, Peter. Amber.